there, a cunning trap.
My name is Karen. Once, longer ago than I care to think, I was a paragon to the dwarves of Orzammar. If you seek the anvil, then you must care about my story, or be doomed to relive it. Though I made many things in my time, it allowed me to forge a man of steel or stone, as no mere smith, however skilled, has the power to create life. To make my golems live, I had to take their lives from elsewhere. The Darkspawn were pressing in. Originally, I only took volunteers, but King Valtor became greedy. He began to force men, castless and criminals, his political enemies, all of them were to be given to the Anvil. It took feeling the hammer's blow myself to realize the height of my crimes. Not revenge. The blow of the hammer opened my eyes. My apprentices knew enough to make me as I am, but not enough to fashion a control rod. We have remained entombed here ever since. No! The anvil is mine! No one will take it from me! You! Please! Help me destroy the anvil! Do not let it enslave more souls than it already has! As long as the anvil exists, it may be used to create slaves. And help me destroy it! Thank you, stranger. Your compassion shames me. No! You will not take it! Not while I still live! Bronca, don't throw your life away for this! Just give her the blasted thing! She's confused! Maybe once she calms down, we can talk to her. You're not the only master smith here, Caradin. Golems, obey me! Attack! A control rod? Uh, my friend! You must help me! I cannot stop her alone! It ends here. It was good to meet you, Paragon. I intend to ensure that your warnings about the Golems are heard by the Circle of Magi. Is there any boon I can grant you for your aid? A final favor before I am freed from my burden? Yeah, I don't 
suppose you can bring Bronca back. Maybe make her a golem like you. I would not do such a thing to her, even if I could. Somehow I didn't think so. There is still the matter of the election. For the aid you've given me, I shall put Hammer to steel one last time. beat the sod out of how I imagined it. You ready to head back yet and share the news? Yeah, those Deshiers have been trying to destroy the city for years. Haven't managed yet. Lords of the Assembly, I call for order! This argument gets us nowhere. Then why these delaying tactics? I call for a vote right now! My father has one living child to assume the Idukan throne. Who would deny him that? Your father made me swear on his deathbed you would not succeed him. I apologize for the interruption, Lord Stewart, but the Grey Warden has returned. Well, Warden, what news do you bring? Keridan was trapped in the body of a golem. 
This Warden granted him the mercy he sought, releasing him and destroying the Anvil of the Void. Before he died, Caradon forged a crown for Orzammar's next king, chosen by the ancestors themselves. I would like to believe Argren's word, but it's well known the Grey Warden is Balin's hireling. Silence! This crown is of Paragon make, and bears House Ortan's ancient seal. Tell us, Warden, whom did Caradon choose? At last, this farce has ended, and I can take my rightful place on my father's throne. me as king? I cannot defy a paragon. The throne is yours, King Balin. And as my first act as king, I call for this man's execution. Guards, seize him! You know better than anyone the war facing us, Warden. Orzammar cannot afford to be divided. Anyone undermining my reign is serving only the Darkspawn. I will return to my palace to gather my generals and prepare our forces for the surface. I will see you there, Warden. You have my gratitude for all you have done for me. Now I can embrace you as a brother. Without your aid, I would not have taken this throne so smoothly or so soon. His name need not pass your lips again. My generals are already preparing for a mission to the surface. When you have need of us, you shall have every able-bodied dwarf in Orzammar. Since you did more than I expected, I offer a personal reward as well. This was a mall favored by my brother Trian. Take it with you, as a reminder of your ties to Orzammar. Now, I have much to do. If there is nothing else... Good luck, Warden. May we both crush our enemies. I'll be done.
You are stone carved, Warden. I've never seen the like. If I'd heard it secondhand, I'd have called it a sodding lie. Warden, we've got a king because of you. The rest, impressive. But the Legion is grateful most for restored leadership. It frees us to fight to the Darkspawn properly. You'll have us too, Warden. I think it's time the Surfacers saw the good the stone can unleash. We'll be at your side. Back to Orzammar when we win, though. I'll not stay topside to lose my stone sense. News of the hour. Lord Balin victorious. Lord Harrowmont arrested and It's hard to believe we have a king again. I suppose the answer... As you say. Aye, any time. being drunk, but so much cheaper. <laughs> well, let's get moving. We're losing, what you call it, uh, daylight. Hunters from Oswald. The region strung them up like foxes. He did.
Come to talk to old Ogren, have you? Don't know why. Nothing. I'm fine. Just, uh, I got a hornet in my eye is all. Did you want to talk about something? What about? You get a sword or an axe, and are told to go out and defend your city. It's the best thing in the world. That is until you try to live in the city you saved. I mean, they train you to kill, teach you to harness your rage at the first noise you hear, then try to set a hundred sodding rules about it. Like those provings. <laughs> Ancestors show their favor through the strongest arm, right? So why so many rules saying how to fight, and when you win, and not to bloody kill? Killing's what swords are for! You can kill with blunted weapons, Warden. Well, <laughs> maybe you can't. <laughs> this makes me cranky. Don't you have any other inane questions? It's sodding great. At first I was a little queasy with all that air, but there's just so much of it. No one has any idea who you are or what you're doing. Aye, the surface is great. Hey, let's go find something to kill, huh?